Leveling in Pixel Worlds while tedious from a level after a level strikes a feeling of an achievement if every reached level. And with the additional 50 levels to the already hard max level cap might prove challenging. The goal itself requires focus unless it's approached as a long term goal. Starting on the technical part, with the 200th level now being the highest around, experience requirement rises in the first to max level from 6,705,000 on 150th level to 11,940,000 on the 200th. Cap on its own is raised by 5 million experience points, being a grind worthy challenge on its own. Despite the video's title for potentially most efficient ways of gaining EXP, for the willing to compare how the methods stack up with the others, the list will include the main experience incomes, making for the top 5 list. For the list to somewhat make sense, each source despite potentially higher numbers will be limited by its boundaries, as loading times and such, but utilizing their potential to near maximum for the sake of comparison. Sources worth mentioning that for any reason won't make it into the list will be left for the end of the video. As a disclaimer, video showcases possible numbers of each position, with some of them providing nearly always same amounts of experience, no matter how well a player does, with fishing as an example. Majority of experience points, on the other hand, are measured by the most efficient times possible, which normally is different for everyone. Going a little slower in the dungeon to what is shown in the video as max efficiency may even set the position far back. To account for it, measuring times of your runs, example of netherworld run, whether is it 3 minutes or 4 minutes or 5 minutes, and count it the way I'll be leaving it in the description, will measure how good of an experience source it is for you. All the sources in the video may vary from a person to a person, and any time or score I could replicate on the longer run was made on behalf of comparing just what can be done, not what is to be done. Since I do realize there are much better scores, I couldn't replicate in a longer run. To start off the list with fishing, with a dependent on the gear efficiency and which in my case was a score of average 7890 experience points each 10 minutes, any other gear not providing the maximum strike frequency and possibly high fish weight may prove much less efficient than what any other source provides. Leveling up that way constantly fishing all the way to level 200 from zero requires roughly 252 hours spent fishing, while reaching that same goal starting at level 150 takes up 110 hours. From the 1st to 50th level we'll be fishing for 15 hours. 4th place is taken by the old, yet never obsolete nether. In the comparison we'll be taking 3 minute 40 second runs, done constantly at max efficiency with friends, to reduce nether scan down times. And while even fully finished 2 minute 30 second runs are possible, to keep other longer due to nether's randomness scenarios relevant, we're adding to that higher mark. Averaging 3500 experience points each run, nether potentially provides 11000 points each 10 minutes. Leveling up that way from the beginning to the end makes for 3411 nether runs and 181 hours spent grinding them, while reaching 20 hundredth with the starting point of level 150 takes up 79 hours and 1496 attempts on nether. 50th level requires 11 hours spent finding the monsters and 210 scrolls. Despite being an each month limited time event, Secret Base remains there for a week, being an excellent source of experience. Despite its lower than deep nether's potential for a solo player, it grants 17,000 points when played with friends each 10 minutes, reaching 1 minute 40 seconds and adding 20 seconds for the random occurrences and loading times, or 12,250 each 10 minutes for a solo player. Every slip in time is often caused by inconsistency of the runs and the loading times that make for additional 5 to 10 seconds for solo players and the lack of terrain. 117 hours of secret base and 3511 entries are required to reaching 200th level from the scratch, playing with the friends. Reaching 200th from level 150 requires 51 hours and 1539 entries of secret base. Reaching level 50 requires 216 entries and 7 hours spent doing them. With Deep Nether at second place it's hard not to compare it with Nether, between which the difference is massive. With maximum efficiency in each run, sub 2 minute runs are not only common but are, with a few exceptions, the usual outcome. While sub 1 minute marks are possible, those happen on rare occasions of barely populated deep nethers. Thanks to no countdowns, deep nether feels like a quick one corridor nether run. 
to keep those times somewhat repeatable, we'll set the time of an average 1 minute 30 seconds to account for world exits and 2500 experience points, as only the exit bonus displays on the exit screen of Deep Nether, still granting you the experience of any monster killed. With that, Deep Nether tends to provide 19,760 experience points each 10 minutes. All that sums up to 100 hours at Deep Nether starting with a new account, ending at level 200 and using 4776 blood scrolls. While reaching the maximum level from 150 requires 45 hours and 2094 blood scrolls used. 50th level from the ground up will need us to spend 6 hours and 294 scrolls. List ends with the most efficient yet somewhat limited way of breaking spike bombs, with the aid of flasks of breaking. As flasks and potions limit the usage to everyone above a certain, in this case 50th level, metal requires for the needed level to be acquired any other available way. From 50th level forward, bombs provide, regardless of the breaking method, the highest possible experience source from the conventional ones. One full stack of bombs provides nearly 20,000 experience points. While being aided by a friend let's clean the whole stack with a 5 minute potion doable, making for roughly 40,000 experience points income each 10 minutes, other ways of having them already placed in the world help reaching up to 36,000 points with a similar time arc. Reaching 200 level from the starting point of level 50 requires 47 hours of non-stop grind with the efficient way and 560 spike bomb stacks broken, while making up for the remaining 50 levels from 150 to 200 takes up 22 hours and 261 stacks cleared. Bombs broken the potion less way provide 3 times less experience points than the potion method would each 10 minutes, guaranteeing the least of lower sub 13,000 marks each 10 minutes requiring 9 hours and 37 stacks broken for the 50th level. Level 200 sets us back thrice the time it would with the use of flasks of breaking, making it 149 hours, destroying 597 stacks. Reaching level 200, starting at level 150, takes up 62 hours and requires 262 stacks broken. Any other mentions would be made from all the side activities, which, while visually insignificant, might make up for a giant portion of experience points, not counting just the side way of income, just as daily quests and clan quests are. Despite highest potential experience income from any possible source, fossil solving reaches up to 154,500 experience points in 10 minutes, with each fossil taking 20 seconds of both loading and solving times combined, and at highest possible efficiency. Each fossil granting 5,150 experience points alone, while seemingly easy at first sight, its availability around and prices of fossils are, frankly fortunately, a setback. Having fossils as a finishing touch might leave out graffitis and achievements, which have their own limitations. With how common different ways of gathering experience are, chances are you will find a way in alternatives from where farming different blocks offers the most of. While all of said ways are already in full use, exact numbers may have been missing for the full knowledge of how quick in reaching levels they can be, just what this guide had in mind and I'll hope it proved useful in some way. Good luck and see ya.